I used to say that if Jimi Hendrix, Bobby Womack, Wilson Pickett, B.B. King, I think if they had a baby, that baby would be Lee Moses. He was probably one of the hottest musicians in the city of Atlanta. Every place that was some place about something, Lee played there and, I mean, did well at it. He could take the guitar and make it talk to you. He had that growling, that ugly gravel sound. He had that old country preacher sound. We got to shout love and seek the sea. Big cufflinks. Beef case, suit. About you and me. Mild mannered man. Going to the gig, me and him. People's eyes. Lee was about the only black artist that could get away with playing that psychedelic and rock and stuff like that. I don't think the years that he was in was ready for the talent that he brought. Lee did a lot of recording in New York. We always felt like that he just didn't have the right people backing him. He had some good soul for music, and it was different. It was his own style. We can't go to a million places. When they put out Lee's album in 1971, if the market had been more open, he would have found a wider following. He recorded, I'm gonna be a star one day, and me, when is this going to happen? He opened for James Brown. And I remember what James Brown told him, that's the last time you ever coming out before me. You'll either be playing with me or we won't be playing on the same show.